Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to show you a quick demo on the new caption builder here, the desktop version. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started. We'll see what uh, we got. This is going to be uh, just quick and dirty. And uh, I'll try and go over as much as I can and as fast as I can. So uh, wherever your cursor is placed, that's where the uh, caption will drop in. Um, and um, So you click the caption over here. And it'll drop it in over here where the cursor is placed. Right here, I got next photo selected. That means it'll automatically go to the next photo um, after a, uh, a caption is placed. So I've already uh, dropped all my uh, photos in here. Uh, they're not labeled or anything yet. Um, here's what this is just yesterday's photos. So I select, uh, I'm going to start on the roof, and I have a uh, start. I have this category here first, which is this category first here. If I want to do the E first, I can drag that up. And now the E section is first and then start. So this layout will match this layout. So drag in there. Um, I added this tag right here, building. You can select the different tags, scroll up and down. Um, the second tag here you can add third tag, fourth tag, so on all my uh, damage descriptions I got selected right there and they populate in uh, right there as you go on these are the ones I just most commonly use for at least for this type of claim it's just a, a simple hell, hell claim so you drop that in, select building front overview and you see there, it went to the next photo already, but uh, building front overview. So then you just click address verification, and then I'm going to add the tag roof. Um, you know, I have some different Eve photos that I take right here, or Eve captions. So if I go back here, this is what was dropped in. This one actually has ice and water on it. So you, be careful if you got next photo selected because uh, all of a sudden you can run through this entire thing and and if you leave them as default like I have pitch gauge 412 and let's say this was a 512 then you know you'd have, just have to go back and edit it um, uh, which I don't mind doing I don't want to create a bunch of different captions with 512, 612, 712 so on <clears throat> so then I'll go to front slope I'll scroll down a little bit, overview of slope, uh, 8 hell hits in square, 25% overview. Then I'm going to click my damage descriptions here. So if I click hail, um, then uh, front slope hail damage to the 30 year lambda shingle. That's what pops in there. And then if I, uh, if I go ahead and just paste, that last caption I copied is currently active. So. Um, just keep that in mind. It's actually active on your um, on your clipboard of your computer. So right slope overview, wherever that was, right there. Eight, twenty-five. Hail, hail, and then I went to the left slope. Uh, then I'll go on the roof, uh, or I mean I'll put the roof tag on, and when I get to all my miscellaneous items on the roof. Uh, so what I got here, a uh, ridge vent, so what I want to uh, caption this. So right here I have my two most common, which is exhaust vent and turtle vent, but if I click on vents right here, you can see here I have roof selected as the scope, and vents selected. If I take off roof, here's all the other vents um, that uh, that I've created in here, or most of these are in here by default. Um, but those two are the only ones that are active on roof. So there's two things you can do. If you use uh, ridge vent a lot, and you don't want to, you want to save one click, then you can add the caption right here. 
uh, add caption and this little dialog will pop up and I want to add it to the roof scope and I want to add the uh, there you go ridge vent and I can click add and that'll populate it right there to where it's always visible uh, there you go like that scroll down here there's ridge vent now it'll always be there Um, I can go just go ahead and delete it delete ridge vent yep now that just deleted it from the roof scope but if I go back here to vents it's still here in my vent category because I haven't deleted it from the category I just deleted it from the scope so that's one option to get to ridge vent another option is let's say you're just scrolling through and um, you don't use ridge vent a lot um, you can just click on the category right there and that'll show the rest of the uh, vents uh, within that category and you're still in that scope close it down um, there it is just now we're back to the two open it back up and we got all three of them so activate my cursor back down here roof ridge vent our pipe jack right here those solar tubes you know we see them every so often right but not all the time so they're not in one of my favorites but I think I have yeah solar tube um, vents uh, exhaust vent uh, drip edge on rake I always take a picture of drip edge on rake and you see I got it right here um, and then what our satellite dish I got this in my roof items and right here I want to note that a split uh, boot is required so well I got one right here actually but let's say I didn't have that let's say I want to create one I want to create one if I go to create a caption which is creating a brand new caption I'll uh, a little error I need to select a category first so I'm going to drop this into the items and now when I create one it'll create it in the items and in the roof I'll go ahead and deselect that for now and I'll go create this little thing um, split boot jack is required um, let me just add a number to it because I already have it create close it there it is it's added and um, then you can add it you can add it to both the scope and roof at the, or category at the same time or you could um, you know do it the way I just did it just to the category so cursor still blinking over here so uh, roof split Joe or split boot pipe jack required uh, right here is there's no valley metal so I don't think I have a caption that says no valley metal so there's two things I could do I can create another caption that says no valley metal or I can create a damage description here sorry these dialogues pop up on my other screen tag the tag is the um, what is displayed right here for easy reference but this is the actual description that it gets copied so I'm just gonna say that it says no um, so I add that close there it is no I highlight that here it appears over here uh, so now when I um, so that's there that's saved all the time now if I pick no here we go I had that little word popped in there no so no valley metal so that keeps me from saving uh, or having to create another caption, which either way is um, you know no big deal. It's pretty fast either way. Um, next photo, what do we got? Some hail damage to head wall flashing. Uh, then I want to jump on my elevation here. I'm gonna change this to my front elevation scope or, or tag. Sorry, I'm gonna change this to my elevation scope, and then I'll click on overview of elevation. Hail damage to gutters, um, hail damage to vinyl siding, 
uh, no storm so I just clicked over here my damage description no storm related and no storm related damage to the window uh, what, we got, what have we got here more damage to the vinyl siding uh, a little bit on the downspout and then I'm gonna select right elevation now overview overview again no damage to gutters uh, nothing on the siding over here nothing on the garage doors so you can see here um, like I said the the scope list matches um, the layout that's over here so if you are getting to a habit of taking your photos the exact same way every time which is always the way we should do it um, then if you go right from your Ella overviews uh, overview of elevation you always take your soffit fascia gutter photos then you always take your paint photos uh, whether lack of damage or damage um, or if you want let's say I'm gonna take my surface up um, above my paint so I'm gonna go to here I don't have to select that I just drag and drop and see here that rearranges them kind of the way I want them within the caption or sorry within the category they're all alphabetical but in alphabetical order um, just FYI all right where am I at here uh, there's nothing on this over here no storm damage nothing on this downspout back elevation overview how damage to gutters no storm no storm left overview uh, sorry hell damage to gutters um, nothing on there, on there. I want to delete that photo because there is some we got the deck here uh, you can see here I don't have deck in here but I do have a deck category let me deselect that that has some options so to add a caption add the deck kind of category into here I'll go to add captions um, here you go decking I want to add that add that to the elevation add close and so you can see there it's right after paint but I'm gonna drop that down below the windows and doors yeah there we go so there it is decking click back over there no storm related damage to the decking uh, I held image to vinyl siding bounce about bounce about uh, we got some more vinyl siding and well that was it all the photos I took get rid of that can't spell my name there we go um, so that's that's it what is it 55 photos very simple it's just a bunch of clicking now over here easy drops it in uh, if I don't want to let's say let me get rid of that and let's say I don't want to go to next photo I can go to select all only one of these options can be selected at a time so that way this is actually really nice too if so left elevation what do I want hail damage um, Hell damage final sign, so it, it reselects the caption again um, in case I wanted to change it. In case I know I messed up, I messed up somehow, and um, so then I can easily rechange it. Then I have to click Alt in to go to my next photo. So that's pretty much it. I mean, that's the uh, um, the gist of it. You know, you can create create categories, create some more categories if you want. Uh, if you don't like any of these default ones, um, shows you how to add some captions, add tags, um, the same way. Add tags, 
add tag one, uh, personal property. Add that in there. And there it is right there. So anything highlighted in blue over here in your tags, that's what's activated. Just double click or click again to um, deactivate it. If I want to, if I right click on anything, I can edit or delete it. Right click on a category, right click on a damage description. So I right click on, on there, edit. This is what pops up. And um, I can edit it. Sometimes backspace doesn't work. So just gotta retype it for whatever I want. Close, drop down, and there's that word that I wouldn't use. I'm gonna delete that. Oh. There we go. I can add different scopes. So right now I got roof elevation interior. And um, you know, if you wanted to create something a little bit more uh, specific to type of claims that you work, then you go ahead and create one. You can create a uh, sorry, this thing pops up over there. Let's create a GLR. Is that GLR? Add. That's great. So that, there, that is. It's empty right now, but I'm gonna create a category called. Uh, Let's call it GLR again. And let's see if we can do all this. Close, there it is. Now I want to create a caption. And I want to say, what are some common sentences we say? Um, there is no subrogation uh, potential as a cause loss is weather related goodness create great there it is it's popped in there so that way let's say when you pull up a template and sometimes your templates are already going to have that in there anyways but you can create a bunch of these that way you could pop that in there as well and get rid of the select all there And let's say I want to create this one right here. Create, uh, let's go to create here, paste that in there on the front, come right, left, and our front, right, back, and left slopes period oh 30 or 3 tab huh I don't think they make that so create great now we got uh, every time I can just hit that GLR and I have a bunch of different um, captions that I uh, or sentences that I can I could pop in there now and uh, be on my way to a little quicker uh, uh, sentence building for our GLRs and reports and whatnot. So hope that helps. Let me know if you got any questions. Talk to you soon.